Hello guys, welcome to Crack Economics Entrance. Today I will discuss the solution pep set of Indira Gandhi Institute of Development Research MSc Economics sample paper. Now guys, before going to the question and solution, I would like to request you to subscribe to my channel. Your one subscription can motivate me to, to make further future videos of the MSc economics entrance of different premier institutions like ISI, IVTR and DSE. I have already uploaded video of DSE and ISI. Click and check my channel for those solution video. Now let's move on IVTR economics entrance question. It is a sample paper. In this video, I will solve question number one to six that is mathematics part set one let's move on question number one fx equal to question number one says fx equal to question number one fx equal to x log x x log one plus x, x to the power minus one we have to find out the limit n tends to infinity fx now here it should be so i think x it should be x because the variable is here x so uh, how to do this it is a very simple question in mathematics in uh, the limit chapter let's take a look on the solution that is a function given fx x log 1 plus x to the power minus 1 that is written here so limit x tends to 0 fx equal to limit x tends to infinity x can be written as 1 by 1 by 1 by x that is written here 1 by 1 by x you can see here so limit x tends to infinity log 1 plus 1 by x x to the power minus 1 means 1 by x so log 1 plus 1 by x divided by 1 by x and then log 1 plus 1 by x divided by 1 plus x limit if x tends to infinity then obviously 1 by x tends to 0 if x tends to infinity if x if x tends to infinity then 1 by x then 1 by x tends to 0 then 1 by x tends to 0 here it is written and we know from limit formula that limit y tends to 0 log 1 plus y by y equal to 1 here y means 1 by x so then this is the one is the answer here option number 1 is the correct answer now let's move on to the second question. The function minus e to the power minus x is option number a convex, option number 2 concave, option number 3 linear, option number 4 quasi linear and option number 5 none of above. Now uh, to find out the concavity or convexity you should see the first order derivative whether it is a positive or negative if, if it turns to be positive then it is convex then when it turns to negative then it is convex now you see fx is concave because f prime x equal to minus e to the power minus x that is the first order uh, derivative that is the first order derivative of f prime x which is negative for all values for all values of x that is all real values of x positive or negative because for all values of x e to the power x e to the power minus x is positive but minus of to the power minus x is always negative so here the function is concave so option number two is the answer here third question says fx equal to root x then f inverse fx is x x square root x 
root x square none of the above now see the solution first fx is root x now if we assume y equal to root x then obviously x equal to x square x equal to y square that is squaring the both terms right hand side and left hand side then we get x x equal to y square then obviously f inverse x equal to x square and f inverse of fx that is we put root x in place of x that we get root x square that, that means x so fx equal to root x then f inverse fx is x we get the here answer so option number one is the correct answer next move on the so it's a question from permutation combination six horses are running a race how many different group of horses could make up to the first three finishers now this question is very easy to solve because here are six horses given how many horses given six horses are given and you have to find out three horses that will be the finishers so it is a simple combination of choosing three horses out of the six horses that is six c three that is six c three is the answer here so it is computed here in the answer six c three can be written as in this form okay sorry six c three equal to six factorial by three factorial three factorial equal to 20 63 equal to 20 option number 3 is the right answer here let's move the second question uh, fifth question what are the values of x satisfy x square plus 4x plus 3 it's a simple question uh, it can be solved using the algebra x square plus 4x plus 3 x square plus 3x plus x plus 3 x taken common x plus 3 plus 1 x plus 3 x gives minus 1 3 the simple question minus 3 and minus 1 next question a company's profit have doubled for each of four years it has been in existence if the total profit for the last four years were 30 million what was the profit in the first year of operation options are given here so let us let's say x x let's say x is the profit in the first year profit in the first year so the question says that profits have doubled each of four years it has been in existence so first year it is x written second year it is doubled that is 2x third year it is doubled again 4x and fourth year it is doubled again at 8x so x in the first year second year 2x third year 4x fourth year 8x so total 15x is the production and 15x equal to we are given the profit and margin given 30 million so 15x equal to 30 this gives x equal to 2 x equal to 2 here is the right answer so uh, this is the uh, solution video of sample paper set number 1 question number 1 to 6 now uh, before leaving I would like to say that it is not possible to upload all of the solution video all of the question you are requested to to send me a mail in my mailbox that is given in the description box and or comment me in the comment section that is given in the video to know me to let me know which question or which particular question you want the solution or you want the solution video to be uploaded in future comment or mail me so and Again, I would like to tell subscribe our channel. It will motivate me to produce further some productive, knowledgeable video solution of MMSC economic entrance. Thank you.